joined by Jennifer McCann, MLA. Jennifer, why is it important to be here today? I think it's very, very important and there, there's a number of our newly elected councillors here as well today uh, and other um, political representatives here. I think it's very, very important that we go out and we stand with people against hate, against intolerance and against the lack of respect that the people show to other people. And it's both racism and sectarianism are the twin evils in our society. And the people who speak of that in, in those tones and who speak about a whole faith-based community and the tone that happened in, in terms of the Muslim people. Um, they, people here are rightly protesting against that, but they're also protesting against those who come out in support of him also. So I think it's very, very important that, that, that people are here today and that we're here today to show our support for this uh, rally to say that hatred, intolerance, bigotry, no matter where it comes from or no matter who it's targeted at, is wrong and must stop. Councillor Jim McVeigh, what do you think the size of the crowd here, what message does it send to Peter Robinson? No, I think a spontaneous response today. People are livid uh, by what he had to say. Instead of giving leadership, um, instead of standing against the mob, he stood with the mob. You know, And uh, the vast majority of ordinary decent people know that this city and this country belongs to people. It doesn't matter why you're a Muslim, why you're a Christian, why you're black or white or gay. This city and this country belongs to everybody. And the Tabor crowd came out of the day as an indication that the city's changing, you know, and uh, and people won't put up with that type of language anymore, won't put up with that type of intolerance. And it's a disgrace that someone in the position of Peter Robinson all did a remarks and he should just categorically, without equivocation, apologize for what he said and just admit that he did wrong and he hurt people by what he had to say. And that's it. We need leadership. Equality. Isn't that right?